Hey there, Lickin' Riffers! Welcome back to yet another awesome guitar lesson here on Lickin' Riff. And what you want to share with you, a fingerstyle lick that I made. I call it the hybrid lick because, uh, well, you'll see why in a second. Um, I created this weird little lick uh, in my heavy metal wannabe days, back when I used to play electric guitar. Remember that ugly, ugly uh, double neck? Well, enough said about that. So uh, this is pretty much the only remnant of this phase. So I want to share that with you so you can steal it, take it and create a song or anything you'd like from this uh, relic of my personal past. So the lick, you can play around with it, but the basic idea is this. G sharp five and C sharp five, okay, with with harmonics going on, and because it's C sharp five and G sharp five, the harmonics, okay, are outside the scale. You get a weird sinister sound. It's a really good exercise also for arpeggiating and using uh, extra fingers for natural harmonics as well. So it's a really good exercise, if you, if, even if you don't use it for a song. It's just a, a really neat hybrid riff uh, with natural harmonics and power chords. So G sharp 5 and C sharp 5, which is 4 and 6, which are 4 and 6 on the 6th and 5th strings. That's G sharp five, and right below it physically, above it musically, on strings four and five. Again, same frets. You have C sharp five. Okay, so by playing the open string, okay, the open D string, you immediately get that weird sound because it's a minor second. Okay, so you can use that as well. Arpeggiated. Okay, now I add, I add the six on the D string as well. Okay, so it's. Okay, I play it open, and then I put my little finger there. Okay, and then I open it again. Okay, or you can. Okay, or you can play zero six zero. Okay, if 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 it strikes your fancy. Okay, or you can create any variation on that. After you're done with the intro, with introducing this lick, okay, start adding okay, the harmonics on seven with your little finger on the second and third strings. Okay, you play arpeggio, okay, string six, five, four, five, and then, okay, the harmonic on seven on the second string. And then I arpeggiate string six, five, four. And then I, I play the harmonic on seven on the third string. And that's the pattern. That's, that's the pattern, basically. After you finish playing the pattern and you want to change the chord, you just move to C sharp five. And you do the same thing, arpeggio and harmonic. Okay? And then okay, you have to play the third string twice. Also add the six on the D string again on the G sharp. You can also play the five 
on the uh, on the second and third strings, but that's a little bit harder. Yeah, because the finger is here, so you kind of have to be careful. See, you can you can try. Do it. This was only for uh, you know for the the example for demonstration purposes. Don't overdo it. Use the open third string for C sharp and the open D string, the open fourth for G sharp, and in between add the harmonics. Also create little licks there with the open string and the sixth fret okay with your little finger on the D string and then surprise the ear with an unexpected harmonic okay so that's my hybrid riff that's uh, that's like the the, the the surviving remnant of, uh, of long-haired me of the past um, so I will see you in the next lesson. You subscribe to the channel and I will, um, I will teach you, um, more of these if you like. So, uh, let me know in the comments. Bye for now. Enjoy.